Hi, I'm Bo with Karcher, and I'm here today to show you how to operate and maintain your Chariot 3 iScrub 26. So, let's get started. To begin using your Chariot 3 iScrub 26, unplug it from the charger. If you have the optional onboard charging system, you'll want to store the cord. Next, install the clean squeegee and either the brushes or the pads that go on the unit. Fill the unit either with water only, if you have the optional onboard chemical metering system, or water, and then add the correct measured amount of detergent. Now it's time to transport your unit to the job site. The first thing you're going to want to do is stand on the platform, depressing the operator presence switch. Turn the key to the unit on, select the correct transport speed on the easy dial, Next, depress forward or reverse, and then depress the yellow foot pedal. Once you depress the foot pedal, the machine will start moving in the direction that you have selected. You can control the speed of the unit by simply releasing slightly on the foot pedal or depressing slightly on the foot pedal. Once you've arrived at the cleaning site, select the correct cleaning mode. Remember, eco-efficiency is ideal for just lightly soiled areas. Before cleaning, if you have the optional onboard chemical metering system, you'll want to make sure that it's set at the correct dilution rate for the detergent you're using. And now, you're ready to clean. When you're finished cleaning, it's time to empty the tanks on your Chariot 3 Ice Scrub 26. Start by emptying the solution tank. Now, when you're emptying it, make sure that you rinse it with fresh, clean water. Another great tip is to actually take a bowl mop and scrub into corners, making sure that you get all the debris out of the recovery tank. When you're done, make sure that the lid stays open on the recovery tank so that it can vent and dry thoroughly. Next, empty the solution tank as well. You'll want to make sure that you clean the pads and brushes so that you remove all of the debris while it's easiest to remove when it's wet and it's not solidified, dried, and hardened. For the same reason, we're going to remove the squeegee and we're going to clean it thoroughly. We'll leave both the pads and brushes as well as the squeegee off the unit so that they can dry overnight. The final step is we're going to plug our machine in and get it ready to use the next time we have to use our Chariot 3 Ice Grub 26. So there you have it. You now know how to safely operate and maintain your Chariot 3 Ice Grub 26. Until next time, keep it clean.